Hello V-Ray users, Alex here, your V-Ray guide, and today I'm gonna show you how to treat light leaks, aka light bleeding, uh, with V-Ray override material in order to get proper colorization to your interior space. As you can see here, it's a most common problem, and I got a lot of emails uh, requesting to show that uh, how to how to deal with it. I got my scene um, all purple color colorization just because of my purple floor. So actually, what happens is um, as an effect of a secondary bounce, the first bounce particles travel through my window, they get to the floor, they pick up the color of, of a floor, of a purple color, and when they continue to bounce, they colorize and they paint all my interior with this uh, purple color, with the color of the floor. Okay, so in order to treat it, you need to use override material, and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to select new material. This is my uh, this is my previous material called floor. So I'm going to select new material, and I'm going to select V-Ray override material right here. I'm gonna call it floor view, and in the base material, I'm gonna drag and drop right here uh, the base color. So it's a purple. Okay, so this is the color that's gonna be rendered and it's going to to be represented in um, in my rendering. Okay, as a GI, I need to put some neutral color, something like uh, gray right here. 128 uh, is a natural in between middle gray. So I'm gonna select my override material. I'm gonna click on my gray material and I'm gonna put it here, drag and drop in GI. So what basically happened is my color, my uh, uh, floor will be rendered and seen as purple but my GI, my bounce, will, my floor will react as it has um, gray material. So let's see, let's uh, click render, let's first assign this material to the floor, like this, and then we'll press a render button. And as you see here, we can see immediately the feedback of uh, light cache calculation that our floor got really nice purple color and our walls got really nice uh, white color. So this gray material is actually what makes uh, what makes this render, what makes the secondary bounce to be gray color. Okay, so this is why my scene doesn't get the floor; it just get this gray color to be uh, colorized all over the place. Okay, so if you if you put it white, sometimes people like to put white, and you will get you will fro floor act as it got a white color. So in that case, uh, your walls and your uh, your ceiling and everything will be very very white, as you see here. I know some sometimes people um, put dark colors like black or, or dark gray in order to get more uh, more detail in in their objects in their uh, models. Uh, as you see here, my walls got really uh, really dark gray color. So my floor reacts, uh, the secondary bounce reacts as it got black color. Um, I personally prefer to use uh, middle gray, 128, something in between, in order to, give, uh, to get uh, not too dark or not too uh, bright uh, exposure. Okay, so uh, this is it. This is how you treat your light bleeding. Some, some people call it light leaks, but in cinematography it's called light bleeding. With uh, this is how you treat it with the override material. All right. If you liked it, post a comment below, share it with your friends. This was Alex. You'll be your guy. Talk soon. Ciao.